everyone, this is another authentication tutorial on my channel, but this time we're setting up authentication in Next.js. And what we'll do also is we'll learn how to access user states, how to set up different authentication links and how to protect these pages in the Next.js's uh, new app router. And as you can see in this uh, page, we're accessing user information. We have a logout link. And after that, we also have sign in and sign up link. So let's dive right into how we can do that. First things first, let's create the next project and then install the required modules. So there'll be two commands in total. So for creating the new Next.js app, that would be create next app. And then we do tag latest that will install the latest version. Please note that this tutorial would only work for Next.js 13 and up. And after latest, we give it the project name. Uh, then it'll ask us if we don't have create next app, the latest one, we can proceed to install it and I'll ask some configurations for the project. So for TypeScript, I'm going to select no, uh, Yensley, let's, um, have that also, um, tailwind as for the source directory, we don't need that. And we're going to use the new app router. So select yes on that. Uh, we don't want to customize import all alias and that would start installing and let's cd into it next auth and once we're here i'm going to copy this command npm i and install kind uh, node module press enter the third step in our authentication setup would be to set up environment variables that is the private keys that is private to your project and you can add to your application so you users can sign up from there and to create this uh, keys we would have to navigate to kind I have already created my account so I'm just signed in here and this video is also sponsored by kind so I would like to thank um, our sponsors and let you know that you can use the link in the description to sign up for kind and also support the channel. All right, once um, you're also navigated to your dashboard, you'll be pro probably for the first time sign up, so prompted to create a new application. And I can do the same by going to settings. I already have applications created, but I will navigate inside environment and add an application. So because we're using uh, Next.js, we can select regular web application. And then for application name, I would say uh, tutorial. Um, let's save that. And we can also select the framework. Let's set that to Next.js. Then what's going to happen is it would generate a domain that we can use and also client ID and client secret, which we will go on going to in this format that they have here um copy it and navigate to our project inside the project root of this project we're going to create a new file and this is going to be dot env and it could be that local we'll paste it the only thing would be you're going to update this client id client secret and the domain with uh the your keys that you got here. So I'm going to put set this aside and update that. So issuer ID would be the domain. Then we have client ID. This would be we're running this app locally. So we're going to add local host. And one thing that I'm going to change in their example code would be this post login redirect URL because we don't have a dashboard page. This is just a starter app. I'm going to remove that and let's just navigate to the like a uh, index uh, page and update your uh, client copying this here and have to update based on the URL that we are using the callbacks that's inside the configuration. So I'm going to copy this. This would um, tell the authentication service like what um, domains are allowed to hit and redirect URLs. So we're going to put this in here and for the allowed redirect URLs, let's do uh, this one and save it. 
save our environment variables we're going to start our application and we can do that by running command npm run dev and this will start our application on localhost 3000 we can just copy this and paste it in the browser right now we're gonna see just the starter boilerplate next.js code we haven't written any code but this is just to make sure that app is running correctly and once uh, we open the app as you guys can see on the screen here the next step would be to create the authentication api which there afterwards would be used by the code from the module um, and to do that we would have to navigate inside app folder create a new folder name it api and also a new folder inside it so the name should exactly follow this because this is what the module would be um, reading that we installed from kind and um, another one in here which would be kind oath and then inside it we just create an api and to create api file in xjs we say route.js so now we have a new file and what we have to do based on kind of addition is that um, we have to copy uh, this code and put it inside route.js so what this code does is that it imports um, handle auth function from their module and then we create a get request that takes in the endpoint and returns this uh, function with the request and endpoint and we can save that so now like as you can see the login link and register link is just um in total for make it working would be like three lines of code so let's start and add that into our main file which would be this page.js import module and the links that come with it at the top and i'm going to delete everything everything inside main just gonna leave out the outer divs you can add register links and login links so that would be like this and save it click on either sign in or sign up we have to see the correct page so this is for sign up i already signed up so i'm gonna press sign in here i'm gonna get navigated where i put my uh email and then i will get like a code so i'm gonna press uh, login and in the code that i received then i press continue and i should just get redirected to the app and now there's no way for us to tell if the user is logged in or not because we just have like two buttons so let's update that logic to get user information uh, we can use uh, this code like here so i'm gonna copy this and this is also coming from server right so we can just add this in here and afterwards we can get uh, for example get user and user and to check if the user is authenticated we can get is authenticated flag which is going to be a boolean inside here let's add just another class and i'm gonna put the logic in so first is going to be is authenticated let's call that function and have a question mark and if it's authenticated we can show like paragraph and signed in as then we have um, user dot given name and we can also display access email so that would be user that email so after that we can also add a logout button so for logout we have this logout link which i'm going to add add the import at the top as well and let's call that logout link
All right, once we have logic for this one, let's see what we want to have. If the user is logged in, that would be just like the sign in page. That would say sign in and uh, also register link. Sign up. And we need to wrap this into curly braces. So now it says that I'm signing test is the name I have indicated and this is the email and I have the option to log out. Before I do that, let's modify the styling a little bit so it's more visible what's going on here. So for all, all the links, I'm just gonna add like a darker background and update the text. Yeah, it's easy to style, especially if you also um, initiated Tailwind, which we did at the start of the Next.js application. Background um, color uh, slate 900, we can set rounded medium. And I like that in this uh, module, these links come like kind of unstyled, so you don't have to change uh, like the buttons uh, styling, but you can just wrap them into a container like I'm doing right now so that's very convenient and I'm just gonna pass this in here so we have a logout link right and let's use this for all the links And we can add also some styling to this one. So let's add the index to high, width to full, uh, maximum width, let's do 5 pixel, then item center, uh, font mono, text small, let's add some gaps in between the text and on large screen, let's do flex. So now I'm going to click log out, it should log me out and add sign in classes. We can also make this flex and add the gap three. Um, so there's space in between them. So a quick recap of what we did. We set up an authentication API that is required for uh, to be able to create sign in and sign up links then we um, set up those links and we also added a logic so we can uh, access user information for example whether or not they are authenticated and then based on uh, that information we display conditionally um, their name uh, email and logout link or if they're not logged in we display links to sign in and sign up. Now what we can do is find out how we can uh, protect some pages so only authenticated users can access those pages. First to do that, let's uh, navigate inside the app and create the page that would be protected. So I'm gonna do a new folder and if you don't know how to create pages in Next.js or you want to more learn uh, Next.js more in depth, especially the new version, I have a video for that and you can click the link at the top right corner of this video. Um, so we're going to create a dashboard folder and inside here a new file that's going to be page.js and it, it will be like simple component export default uh, function. We'll name this dashboard uh, with the capital and we'll just uh, return a div. We can return an empty statement inside the component. So let's return div and let's just say um, welcome to the dashboard. All right, save this and navigate here to make sure that it loads. So right now, even if I'm not logged in, it should load. And to remove this stripes, let's go to the globals um, CSS file. And I believe it is coming from this logic here. Okay, now that's gone. And 
Now defining which pages should be protect, uh, protected is very simple and it doesn't require putting in the logic inside here. Uh, we would just need to add a middleware file and inside there list the protected pages. So to add the middleware, I'm going to add that in the root of the application. New file and middleware.js. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import auth middleware from uh, the uh, kind module. So auth middleware kind next auth server. And uh, let's create a configuration. So export constant config that equals to, and then we have a matcher. So matcher is basically inside here, you can define what um, URLs you want it to be protected, or you can also write rejects. So you can say all URLs besides this or etc. So I'm just going to put dashboard. And we have to also, actually we can create and export default the auth middleware. Let's save that. And so as I remember, I'm logged in. So now I'm going to log out. Okay, I'm not logged in. So let's navigate to dashboard and it should now this time it redirected us to the main page uh, because we're not logged in, but I'm going to log in um, to test it out. So So if I on the login state try to go to dashboard, it's going to load. For this tutorial, we recovered how to set up authentication in Next.js 13, how to uh, have access to different kinds of links for authentication and the states of the user. And make sure to check out Kind using my link in the description. I'm going to have more uh, Next.js videos coming up, so stay tuned.